So good morning to all of you. Uh, now we are going to start. I'm going to start chapter seven, that is list and image in HTML. So the first part of this chapter is list. Before that, you must know what are list. Here in Notepad only, let me show you the list if it's available. Um, if I'm writing the data like one, a sequence is available. I asked you write the names of all your subjects. So you will be writing one English. This is not the code. This is just an example which I'm giving to Hindi. Or else you can write A English. B Hindi. Instead, you can also use the capital A B A Hindi English, whatever. Or you can go with Roman numbers in capital or in small. So this, whenever you have a li items list in a proper sequence where you can represent the data using number data like one, two, A B A or Roman numbers, then these are list and the type is ordered list. Okay. Instead, you would have also used the special symbols like star or a dot sign, anything you can use. So if you're going to use these special symbols, then this becomes an ordered list. And when you're going to use the numbered one, then this becomes your ordered list. Last one is your definition list. Definition list, as uh, suppose I have given you uh, that write and explain the five um, uh, types of tags, five tags, like first tag is HTML. So I'm writing here HTML and after that, in the second line, I'm going to explain it. HTML stands for something like this. I have written the full definition. Then in the second one, I'm going to write about body tag. So about body tag, next line, I'll explain it. So these, this type of list, this is also called a list. And this type of list is known as definition list, where this, this particular area is known as the definition term and this is known as the definition data and this entire type of list is known as definition list. This is DT that is definition term. This is DD data definition or definition data and this entire list is known as definition list. So basically we have three types of list. First one is your ordered list, O-R-D-E-R-E-D. -E -E this is ordered list. Then this is your unordered list where special symbols are used before the list items. And last one is your definition list. So now I'll let you know how can you create a, an ordered list. Okay, so for that, first we'll write the basic structure. What is the basic structure? First, HTML. Then after that, head, then title, and you can give the heading as ordered list, and then close title tag, and after that you will close head tag, and then the body tag will be started. Okay, so close body tag, and then you will close HTML. So this is the basic structure I have written. Now for creating the list, we'll go to body tag, that part. And uh, suppose you have to write the names of your subjects. So for starting any ordered list, we have to start that with OL and we'll close it by slash OL. OL stands for ordered list. Now every list item inside this on tag of OL and off tag of OL, every list item will be written or preceded by the tag li okay so the first item was english so before writing english we'll start it by writing li and i stands for list item this is english then you need not close uh, li tag now the second item is li hindi Then third one, I'm going to write li maths. Then any number of subjects, whatever you want to write, every list item will be represented with li tag, social science. Then we have science.
this way you will add the subjects now save it how to save click on file save as go to the save dialog box on the desktop i'm saving and I'm giving the name list after that you will put dot and you will write html now save it minimize it and look at the desktop list here it is double click on this it will open can you see this one two three four five okay so this is by default ol tag always represent the data with your one two three numbering if you want to change this numbering we have two attributes of ol tag okay first one is type okay let me show it to you instead of one two three suppose you want to uh, go with small a b c d in that case what you have to do simply in on tag of ol you just click there and give one space and write the attribute type t y p e equals to type is suppose small a i'll write it in single quotation mark or double quotation mark the way you want you can write save it and then refresh the page can you see this same way if you want the list has to be started with capital a you can change it to capital a and then save and refresh the page okay now the roman numbers in small and capital if capital then file save and then refresh it same way for small letters also it can be done okay next is <clears throat> if you want the means i don't want to start from uh, that list item which is given there i want to start from uh, instead of start in the initial value that is 1 2 3 i want to start it from somewhere else like it should start from number 5 okay in that case what has to be done let me show it to you for that we have another attribute which is known as start start is an attribute of ol tag how it can be used how it can be used let me show it to you for that just after type use start equals to so if you want to start with the third item write 3 1 2 3 whatever file save and refresh the page third item will be roman 3 same way it can be so we learned two attributes of ol tag type and start next is your unordered list so here you must note this thing that ol by default gives you the value 1 2 3 now next is your ul tag that is unordered list same way everything is similar so you will start with ul and you will close it by slash ul and inside that every list item will be written with the help of li so i'm just copying this part copy and paste it here okay now save it file save and then refresh your page you will see by default it gives you this disk sign ol list gives you the sign of 1 2 3 4 and this ul gives you the sign of disk 1 if you want to change it we have only one attribute of ul tag that is type type suppose i want a square then equals to within single quotation or double quotation marks write square and then save it file save refresh it you will see it will change now instead of circles means disk it has appeared with square filled squares now if you want a circle a hollow circle remove this square and write down their circle and then save it file save and then refresh the page so this way it will come so in next class we'll learn about definition list this much please do practice in the lab thank you and have a nice day